on the last video we found that the the user from the furniture team wasn't able to share the the content of that team because he didn't have enough uh, permission level now we assign the permission level to view edit and share and now we're gonna head, go ahead and try to create a new package and we're gonna save as we see here we now have the the option to share the package with other teams so we're gonna do so we share the package and it is done as we see here uh, a new bubble was created I forgot to change the name to my convention but that's fine so now if we go to the to the share folder under the document management under the furniture team you have to see the the file that was shared there So now that the file is shared, other teams can can link it to their to their models as well. Uh, I can tell I can tell so far that you know the the part of collaborating the files takes a little bit longer, and uh, but you know, on the other side, you know this uh, you have more more levels of permission that you can give to the people. Uh, within within the project so on the next video I want to I want to show what this reuse button means when we when we are in design collaboration as we share the file we can create more we can create new packages but also we can we can reuse the package so we're gonna try to to elaborate on these and, and, and play with uh, play with the uh, with the models publishing them from Revit and see how it affects when we publish from here and see if we find any differences.